Four games into the Premier League season, United have won one, drawn two and lost one. And it has been overall an extremely frustrating start to the season. It's absolutely clear that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has some problems and issues that he needs to fix in this United squad for this season to be considered a success. And as it's the international break, it's going to give me the opportunity today to take a little bit of a deeper look into one of the main issues that I think United have. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you go down there and hit subscribe. But let's take a look at this one. Just before we do get into this video, I want to formally announce the United People's TV's partnership with The Athletic. Now, The Athletic have got a quality over quantity focus. And that's exactly what I've tried to do on United People's TV. Avoiding the clickbait, avoiding those bad headlines and just focusing on quality over quantity. And that's why I'm so excited by this partnership. I'm going to be bringing you exclusive interviews with United journalists and a lot more over the coming months. And all you need to do to subscribe is follow the link in the description. Go down there, you get a 30 day free trial and you get 50% off your annual subscription. I really would encourage you to do it. There's lots of good content on there, like this piece from Adam Crafton, who has written an excellent sort of tactical look at the low block and how United are struggling to break teams down that sit deep rather than teams that play a little bit more aggressive and leave more space in behind. It's something that United fans have seen against Crystal Palace. We saw it against Wolves and we certainly saw it against Southampton as well. And I want to sort of discuss in detail why I think this is such a big problem for United. Now, what I want to do here is sort of explain the low block in detail, because if we look at, say, Man United's goal against Chelsea, the counter-attacking football that we had, you look at Chelsea's defence here, it's further up the pitch. They're not in disciplined lines. It leaves space in behind that Rashford exploits. We score the penalty and that opens the floodgates in that game. Now, United haven't really had this against Crystal Palace, against Southampton, or really against Wolves either. Take a look at this from Southampton. Towards the end when United needed a goal, nine players from Southampton, less than 30 yards from goal, sat in two deep, organised lines and United couldn't break it down. Lots of sideways passing, but not much in terms of chance creation. And this has clearly been a big problem for United this season. But on paper, the solution to it is relatively straightforward. Take this example from the game against Crystal Palace. You see there, they've got eight players within 30 yards of goal. But what you've got there is Mason Greenwood, who finds that pass between the lines. That creates a space that Matomane runs into. And with a nice first touch from Martial, the lines are broken. Matomane breaks through, he wins the penalty. The low block gets beaten simply by having a bit of quality that Mason Greenwood delivers in this respect, but that's what United need and don't really have at the moment. With a low block, you need a player like, say, Kevin De Bruyne at City, somebody who's capable of finding those passes that break between the lines of midfielders and defenders, rather than passing sideways. Those balls through the lines are the ones that break up the opposition and makes it hard for this low block to really properly work. Now, United, we've got Jesse Lingard playing number 10. He's not good enough there. Why matter, as good as he can be, he's not fast enough to play this fluid style of football that we want to do. So what can United do? You could bring Paul Pogba further up the pitch. Instead of playing as sort of a central midfielder alongside Scott McTominay, let him operate more as a number 10, as an attacking midfielder. That could work. But United don't have enough quality in central midfield, I would argue, to take Popper out of it. Sure, he hasn't had the best start to the season, but if you're not going to play him there, who is? Matic? Fred? I don't know where Fred is anymore. It unfortunately goes back to the summer because United could have had two solutions. Number one, a new number 10 like Bruno Fernandes could have slotted in perfectly there and been that player like De Bruyne is for City that can help break these low block, these deep lying, disciplined defences that United are struggling against. Fernandes could have solved that. We didn't buy him. Maybe we could have signed someone like Ruben Neves who could have sat alongside McTominay and then allowed Pogba to be that number 10. We didn't buy him. Unfortunately, I think United's problems in attack are a consequence of our failures in the summer to sign that number 10 or a central midfielder. How we went through that summer without signing a new central midfielder is beyond me. For me, it was the single most important position. I said that all summer long and now we're seeing the issues. Even with an improved defence, we're still not that good. And we're getting done, undone by set players at the moment. That has to stop. Now, another point that Adam makes is how overlapping fullbacks 
can help break that low block. And I'm not too worried about that at United. Yes, I don't think we do it anywhere near enough at the moment, but I think Wan-Bissaka is going to improve and get better at doing that all season long. Because if you looked at, say, Dan James's goal against Southampton, the run that Mata makes is selfish on the outside, but it gives James that extra second to find a yard of space and then he scores from it. Now, Luke Shaw, he massively needs to improve in terms of the overlapping runs, but I think both fullbacks will get better and better as the season goes on as they get more and more adapted to the style of play that Solskjaer wants. But overlapping fullbacks certainly will add that width, drag a defence wider and make it easier for United to break these lines. Because right now, it's very simple to play against United. Sit disciplined, sit deep, take your chances when they come. Palace did it, Wolves did it, Southampton did it. Chelsea didn't. Chelsea played against us, they came at us, it made the space behind and United punished them. Now, we need more than just a plan A. When plan A is that counter-attack in football, it works with this team. But we can't simply be undone by teams who just want to sit deep in this low block. United have to be better at breaking that down. And a lot of that will have to come, unfortunately, from just player improvement, because United now don't have that transfer window to solve these problems. And certainly, as Adam points out later in his article on The Athletic, Rashford and Martial need to improve massively because too often this season, take the goal, the United's second goal we scored against Chelsea. You look at Pereira whipping the ball in the box. You've got Martial and Rashford both on the six-yard line, both in good positions. Martial scores. Now against Southampton, I remember James pinging in a couple of great balls and it certainly happened more, in, more than just that Southampton game. But Rashford's never there. Martial's injured now. But Rashford doesn't really make those instinctive runs to the near post. Neither does Martial, because they're not really true strikers. They're wingers, they're strikers, they're wherever you want to be. But they're not making those natural runs. And Solskjaer will need to coach that into United strikers to solve a big problem that we have. And that's just not having the right bodies in the box at the right time. So there are clearly issues. And for me, that low block and beating that low block is the biggest one for United. We do have the quality in the squad, but the team has to play well. Individual performances have to improve. And I'm sure, had we scored those penalties that we've missed, both Pogba and Rashford, maybe it'll be a different conversation now about how the start of our season has gone. But we're going to be working at fine margins because we're not City. We're not going to be pumping teams 4-5-0. So those chances are going to make the big difference. But beating this low block and having the quality to do so, for me, massively relies on those, those passes through the lines. Maybe we've got to play Pogba further up to get those passes. But let me know what you think about that in the comments below. For me, this issue of beating the low block is the single most important tactical thing that Solskjaer has to sort. He has to get his players confident enough to play those passes through the lines instead of sideways. The players can do it. We just haven't been doing it in enough quality and quantity so far this season. That needs to change if this is going to be anything of a successful season. I think all the right players left. I don't think Lukaku and Sanchez would have been the solution to our problems in attack, but we need more from Martial. We need more from Rashford. We need Greenwood to get more chances. Looked really lively when he came on. We just need players to be confident enough to play those passes through the lines. Because as Adam does point out in his article on The Athletic, that is going to be United's downfall this season. So I think Mourinho is right in what he's saying there. Now, as I said, follow the link in the description to subscribe to The Athletic. 50% off your annual subscription by using the United People's TV's link. Can United beat this low block? What are the solutions to it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But for me, this is the single most important tactical thing that Solskjaer needs to fix. It's got two weeks to do it in the international break. Let's see how we get on when we play Leicester.